Kaine! 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 I... I couldn't hold it back. I can't be with... We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're gonna get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad and I'm lonely. But you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you. So don't you dare leave me! Oh, Mew! <laughs> all right, all right. Stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Now that's just mean, Twilight. Oh, what's that? Over there. a mysterious stone fragment. And what is this? Hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of you. <laughs> well, let's go ask Popola. It's a cipher of some kind. Can you determine its meaning? I think this is the key to unlocking the Shadow Lord's castle. Here, take a look at this. I wrote down all the words I can understand. This fragment is called the Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the Lost Shrine, the words must mean something. There are spaces here for four other fragments as well. Sacrifice, the Law of Robotics, the Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus. The Law of Robotics probably refers to the Junk Heap. The memory tree probably refers to the forest of myth. And the memory tree yeah. might be the forest of myth, but as for sacrifice and loyal Cerberus, I don't have a clue. Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we just run around the world killing every big monster we find, right? Oh, splendid. By hmm. all means, let us undertake a murderous rampage. They're just shades. Besides, it's the only way to reach the Shadow Lord. It's a dangerous task. What are you gonna go make? Take care, Twilight. Yeah, well, Yona's in even more danger. But how can you even be sure that she's... Because she is! Right? <sighs> hmm. The junk heap in the forest of myth, yeah? I'm on my way. Please be careful. Oh, and listen. About Kaine and Emil. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed, and they're thankful. It's just... they're scared, you know? People can't change overnight. I'll hurry them along the best I can. But can you please give them a little more time? I'll try. Honestly, that's what it's about, right? Literally, that, that is it. Assessing, assessing your ingredients. And then figuring out how much effort you're willing to spend in cooking. Um, junk heap or forest of myth? I don't quite fancy reading for an hour. So I'm going to go to the junk Popola heap. said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue at Two Brothers' weaponry. The junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. That's not, that's not the brother. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. Oh, so that's what happened in the past. That's why I had the sepia tone. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please forgive the question. So he died? It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. Looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, 
Okay. Never mind then. <laughs> See you later. How's your work here? Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. Wait, he lost his arm? Wait, hold on. I just noticed he's got a prosthetic arm. I thought you might get some use out of it. Oh, cheers. This sword has seen better day. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper material. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. There's like literally no weapon now. I raise the cry of my birth, the sound of heated iron taking shape, a steel mallet striking my form. Born to deliver karmic justice, I enter the world under the watchance of spark and flame that, get, that give light to, to the gloom. I am a blade torn of a deafening roar. I am a weapon. I am Iron Will. I'm gonna only you got by the what can I help you with? Come I only you but what can I help you with? <sighs> Come I'm gonna only the you but what can I help you with? What can you do for me? Not much, really, turns out. Come. Okay, we venture into the junkyard here again. It's a shame about the older lad. He was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Nah, he died because of Gideon. Surely I could double jump and make it help. Two, one. Please don't touch a ladder when you're going down. It's a waste of time. What weapon am I holding? Oh yeah, I can read the uh, weapon story part two for transients. They were frighteningly, uh, they were frighteningly studious people. Their grasp of calculation and science exceeded any pretense of practicality. They would repeatedly engage in spirited debates regarding predictions of the future. They invented an increasingly difficult language and created an infinite series of complex machines, which they would immediately discard. There was not a single among them who looked back, for none knew of any reason for concern. Oh, nice titanium alloy. Need that? Where am I? Is this still to B2? No, it's to 2F, and there's nothing on 2F. There's nothing there for me.
Okay. Which way am I going? This way. Oh, I straight up lied to myself. I thought it was just the way forward, but it's not. Of course, I need to get to B1. I need to go to B1, then B2. It wasn't a straight shot down to B2. So... Wait, what is this? I need to go all the way back to the start. Okay, there we go. So one lift goes down and one lift goes up. The elder brother postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. Okay, getting touched, pixel touched by those, but it's lightning bolts. Send you flying for no real reason. Like, there's no reason for the semis flying with such a bit of vim. Don't know which way I came from. I, for real, do not know which way I came from. I reckon I came from this way. Yes. Right. Why the bombs? That's why. Well, that only served to blow me up.
So I keep being rewarded with bombs, but where am I using these bombs exactly? Thanks. I've gone this way. And I'm not sure I want to go that way either. So this door is locked, yeah? Okay. This door isn't. Gotcha. Enemies from above. Wait, enemies from behind? Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. So many broke fucks. So many broken antennas, I swear to god. Nothing else in here for me. Is that death? Okay. Oh god, no. What are these for? I'm wondering. Hold on. And Yoko Taro's game design sure keeps you on the keeps you on your toes. That is definitely a shortcut that I need to, that I need to earn. Okay, I'm here. Send me your best warriors. Okay.
move next. What the fuck is that shit? You look ridiculous as fuck. Hey buddy, can you... Can you be parried? That is my question. To every enemy, every... Any, any, every enemy anywhere, can you be parried? I like to think of myself as a parody connoisseur. Now, enough for the foot stomps and melee me, you coward. Okay, but not like that. Okay, I guess you're gonna need some more fashion hands. Sorry that you couldn't participate in the uh, the pa the parry experiment, but what is that? So we got the memory alloy, but we never got the bomb. Did we get the bomb? We did. I'm just too fast. I need the bomb for the other side. Oh, but I don't, I only get one bomb. Is that it? I only get one bomb? Oh, I get two. Huh? This one not last. Okay. Ah. Why won't... Okay, I can do this. It's just being stupid. Let's pick it up from here. Okay, maybe I should explode with it. Okay. Instead of... Because there's an... Oh, uh, there's a delay with the animation of throwing it. Oh, this actually feels... It's actually really impossible to do this. That was the slowest I've ever been. Beeline it, beeline it. Oh, the door's still open. There we go. I just needed that door to be open, really.
Interestingly, and it makes sense for law reasons, you never get any words, like new words, when you're fighting the robots, mostly because you get the words from blood. And, you know, they're robots. Oh, well, I'm getting bullied here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting bullied. I mean, that's locked. What is this way? Okay, so we can enter the depths if we so chose. So choose. Yep, hi. Okay, would you like to participate in the parry, parry experiment? No, guess not. Those big robots aren't really threats, that's the thing. Like... go to the depths just yet. Bomb can be used that way. Did you make the thing then, Twilight? Okay, nothing. 
Can we hear? Oh, hello. Okay, bombs. Bombs that I know won't make it. See, wouldn't even let me leave the room. Oh, I'm sure not there. Let's try. Yeah, there's no way I can leave the room like that. That won't work either. This might. Okay, so I don't even have to go through the wall. Sure. And yes, clear. People, people weren't kidding when they said this place is very grindy. And I feel like I just keep getting a lot of common materials and fighting the same enemies over and over. Anyway, I've got more memory alloy. Oh, there's more. There's another one. Hello, sir. So maybe don't do that. Okay, maybe don't. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Just, just, just settle down now, shall we? Now, titanium alloy is something I need. But if I have to farm these robots, that's actually kind of annoying. Uh, good news, I can go into the depths if I really wanted to. Well, I don't know what's waiting for me there. I'm running low in medicinal herbs too, actually. So I'd be wise not to go too crazy down here. Door doesn't open. Oh wait, enemies. That's why.
I'm surprised they're allowing us to go into the depths. This place is not for me yet. Oh wait, I'm just going the wrong way. Okay. Just a lift going back to the first floor. What area is this taking me to? Where is this? Whew. Hate that. I, you obtained this. There we go. Beast curse. The, the beast spear. There we go. Long, long ago in a fiery kingdom with three brothers, the youngest was a terif terrifically lazy lad who spent most of his days fast asleep. However, he was, every, he was every bit as cheerful as he was lethargic, and so was loved by a boy. So I can't go any further there, mostly because it's grayed out. Uh, that is death or shortcut. This is shortcut to boss. Which also means shortcut to lift. Which also means shortcut to surface, yes. Glad I was rewarded by my uh, exploration. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Alright. So while I'm here. No sense in you wait that would be by the what can I help you with? Someone napped and came back. Someone may nap again. Who can say? I am someone. Someone is me. Welcome back, someone, from the to the land of the uh, awake. The only thing keeping me awake at this point is this. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm still going. Um, Labyrinth with a whisper. Faith. Lily leaf sword. Weapons that I've now upgraded, and I can now read the next parts of their weapon stories. So this is the one about the horns. You'd think a girl like that would have been bullied, right? Well, you'd be wrong. That kid was the hardest person for miles in any direction. 
was in a man in the village who tangled with her, and we're talking men who ain't scared of nothing. She was doing, the, she was the best at doing work, what needed physical strength and all that, and she always led the charge whenever shades attacked. And folks loved her for that, sure, but most of all, they loved her because she always had, she was always cheerful and just plain tough. This one, like a poet. Kill one by this blade for one poem, and two for two in kind, the likes of which will be more splendid than any this world has ever heard. Clinging to the monk's words, the man waited for the cover of darkness and cut down a man he encountered by the roadside. The following day, he wrote a most beautiful poem, instantly reclaiming the fame and prosperity he lost. And then this one. Uh, I love him before my heart. But I can't believe this. My best friend deceived the love of my life and stole him from me. One moment he was there and the next he was gone. Well, that remains are some of my, are some of my gifts which are scattered across this, em across this empty room. Everything, of, everything else of value has been sold at the village marketplace. It appears we have some free time on our hands. Oh, do I go speak with Popola or do I go to the Forest of Myth? I'm scared about the Forest of Myth because I don't want to go to the Forest of Myth. And then have me go into an hour reading quest. Popola hour said quest we of, might be able to find something reading. in the forest of myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trick. No, Grimma Vice, I get it. It's very poetic and romantic with the weapons of stories, you know. It is one of the, one of the cool, cooler parts of Nier. Um, and then when you upgrade them, you get more of the story. So I have to go to the Forest of Mist. The last time I went there, I spent an hour reading, and I don't want to do that again. I hope I don't have to do it again. If I have to do it again, I'm just ending the stream. <laughs> just straight up. Ride like the wind, bullseye. Skirt, skirt. I want to see how much of a danger this thing is to me now. Oh, you're a problem. Hey, you! Boar! Oh, you're a non-issue now. Oh my god, you are such a non-issue. dream yeah truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again tell me about it I hear you okay the only person to speak to is the mayor hello sir oh. Things. Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. And where, pray tell, is the Divine Tree? The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this present? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prey. <sighs> And why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. Alright, well I guess I'm going to the tree. Hey kids, you guys sleeping sound? Yeah? Unusual activity here? No, 
Uh, I don't think so. No weird but nightmares? I do have an incredible story for you. Wanna hear it? Fuck off. <laughs> Actually, wait. Let me let me save the game. Again. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. It was. However. Meanwhile, my wife was. And a dis dismembered corpse said. The real culprit was. This is quite a story. I wonder how it's going to end. I'm impressed. Much of the story has been hidden from us, yet you seem to grasp it. Yeah, but I still don't know how it's going to end. Right, okay, weird. The key to the Shadow Lord's castle? You're talking crazy talk. Anyway, enough of your madness. Let's talk about my story. May as well. On that very day... Ever after. Well, uh, at least they were thorough. Quite. Interesting. Is that the divine tree? Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the dark entity of her. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. Time to get your ASMR headphones on. ASMR headphones on. Because we're going to do some reading. Oh, my God. Black. Pure darkness. Painted over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words. Difficult words. Amorous words. All sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation. The tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Woo! I do like this track, to be fair. But I don't know how it goes. I think it goes like that. Anyway. Once ago, once long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much part of a tree as root and bark. Memories, memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree, almost they had formed a web that spanned the entire world. Words clapped into sunlight before, before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together that formed colonies, the colonies united in whirlpools of light, and the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Thin beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon, he, upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy too has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred swell within the dark recesses of his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates in his body. 
no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He has long ceased to resent his parents and doctors, but he did. But now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. Only one person brings the boy comfort. A healthy young girl with tan skin and deep brown eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her very presence is a comfort to him. But he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon, this loathing eats away what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming. He knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her his feelings, this might not be so. But this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up this memory and carefully stores it within itself. Etched upon it is a single word, envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy arises. And another, and another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-addled mind lies a vague memory of her daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream. She does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and go. Some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began the fight with 33 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior's butt body shudders. She does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce, low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so far as long, far as, long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time. It is etched with a single word. Loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, that memory has been lost. A shame. It was a favorite of mine. After many, after many centuries of existence, the tree saw that it carefully labeled memories were that its carefully labelled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to, dis to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could, but no new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but sift through the remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room Jerry had entered was almost empty. All he, all he could see was a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. Picking, one up, picking up one of one of the crystals and peering into it, Jerry suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the forest of myth, its villagers, prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the tree thought. That is all that remains. As Jerry stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order. Following it was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They mu must listen. Look there. A small, shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade. The shade grasped several jewels in its hand. The more, more jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth. 
sights and sounds tinkling from each one from before, vanishing forever. The creature was abusing their memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. The shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories? The tree extended a branch toward Jerry. Without a second thought, Jerry brought his blade down on the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree, there is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather be upset it had greeted the development with good cheer. Focusing all of its power on the riddle of the speech, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. Ahem, I, I implore. <coughs> it spat out a glimmering dr green drill. Hmm, one more time. I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? I'm going to assume green because of envy. Ah, you let it slip through your fingers. Come on, we have to go back to that stupid land of words again? Ah. I fucked it. I fucked it. Yo. Ah, oh, man, you got me reading again? 